So I'm at the stage of painting the sword now and I have some spots that seem to have some either dust, I can't tell if it's hair, if it's dust, but somehow there's some on there. Can you see there? Let me find some spots for you. Like that looks like a hair, I'm not sure if that is a hair. Either way, so I've done around three coats. And what I'm going to do now, just to get rid of that, so I'm going to do more coats. So before I do that, I'm going to use 240 grit sandpaper, but I'm not going to wet it this time. And I'm going to very gently just rub those bits. It's kind of hard because I'm, I'm using one hand to hold my phone. Uh, I'm just going to pretend I'm doing it. So very lightly, just to get rid of those hairs and stuff, because we're going to, uh, we're going to paint over it. Um... We're going to do another layer of uh, rust oleum black. So this doesn't actually affect anything in terms of uh, the paint job itself because we're going to go over it. And I'm not doing this with wet, uh, I'm not doing, I'm not wet sanding this, I'm doing this dry because I don't want any water running marks leave, be left on a sword. So I'm doing this dry and once this uh, has been sanded, I'm going to use a duster to get rid of it get rid of any dust that's on there and basically that gets rid of any fluff or whatever it is like this I don't I don't even know what it is I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's hairs maybe that's um, excess plastics from when I was doing 180 grit but yeah there's some that needs to be getting rid of like you can see on the other side I already sanded it so it's like that, and I'm following the grain that the sword is supposed to have, like uh, going up and down rather than side to side. And yeah, because there was quite a lot on this side. Another thing to note, actually, so since we're sanding this paint, this is a paint job, obviously, so we're sanding paint. You need to make sure that it's dried, like 24 hours after you do that layer. And even if you do that when it's dry, it is going to build up on the sandpaper, so do not smudge it. Do it very lightly, and if you do repeat the sanding on this area, for example, um, you are risking of smudging that area with this residue. So try to switch areas that you sound like, put finger, pr finger, finger pressure here or there, or give it a wash with uh, water, and after you wash it, make it dry the sandpaper with uh, the duster, for example.